before we take it apart I'll just draw myself a little sketch of that wheel it's uh, quite a complicated looking deal really It's almost like bead locks they've got on there to hold the tire in place. Yeah, I think that's what's supposed to happen there. I think that's supposed to crush in on the end there to hold the inside of the tire. The looks of it, the bit that's important is there and there so that's the distance between there and there is the inside of the rims and that's actually that bit there 18 point 18.5 if we're generous. That's 18.5. And then the different diameter outside and inside. Can we even get in there to measure that? Or is that going to stop us? And that's probably 25 on the inside bit. And then that one, can we get on there? 35. I mean, we really don't have a hope of finding any matching tyres, but I'll take measurements anyway. And the actual overall diameter, 60. The outside width. Thirty-six. Take an average. Thirty-six and a bit. Yeah, probably thirty-six. Ish. Probably thirty-five. Actually, looking at those dimensions. But I don't think we're gonna match that. Like I say, we might end up having to just bodge it by drilling these out so at least we got some tires to run it with right we'll take it apart i'm pretty sure i will have done a tear down on this before Easy. Okay, steering red and white wire. Oh, that's 
the one that comes off, obviously. Ah, right, that red and white wire will be the... Um, winch. No, it won't. Or will it? Gosh, that's confusing. Looks like it's a light. Yeah, that's an LED. So the steering motor must be buried right inside there. Oh dear. pink wire disappears underneath somewhere. I'm going to have to take it apart all the way. No shortcuts. Get a magnet to clip the screws. These are different sizes. Oh, I hate it when they use different sizes. Those ones are slightly longer than the other ones. Hold charger in place. So obviously, you can have rechargeable batteries in there and charge it from there. I think I'm going to need a box to put all the bits in. What are we doing so far? Oh, that looks like that's the cover for the drive motor and gearbox perhaps. What's that holding on to? And that's the winch there. You can't see that because it's a bit dark. Is that going to come out? Yes, it is. Okay, so main motor through the gearing there, depending on which way you shuff, shovel the switch under here, depends on which of those gears engage, and if the right one engages. It'll engage the winch. Let's just come in close so you can see that. Right, so the winch is in there. When I say the winch, it's just going to be a pulley on that gear. 
and depending on which way we slide the slider under here depends on which gears get engaged and if the right one's engaged it'll drive that okay so that's our gearbox hmm. okay these pink wires are linking up all those batteries, the battery pack on either side there. I think I want to put that back together. Because I don't think we want to see any more of that. Let's see if we can get that back in. wires go in there keep the tension on that's all coming loose because it's not the gear is not engaged so it's just loose Sometime or other, the motor's going to switch on. Oh, that's going to get tied in together. Ignore me while I'm talking to myself. winch engaged yeah that is there we go okay so it's got that back in place let's get those screws back in so we've looked at the gearbox, I haven't done it in great detail, we just know there's a whole pile of gears in there. And those were the longer screws just there zoomed in you couldn't even see what I was doing I was just putting the screws back in I don't think that really matters thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel 
and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.